still look at it. I survived it. I just couldn't believe it. The day that will live in infamy lives on forever in the mind of Navy Seaman First Class Roland Breyer. Graduated from high school and just joined the Navy. I enlisted in the Navy in 1941. After basic training, his unit, Company 29, was sent to Pearl Harbor with Roland aboard the USS Whitney. It was a tender, took care of his, uh, the uh, destroyers. I was attached to a commandant's pack. Commander Destroyers. I was in the Supply, supply yeah. Corps. Sunday, December 7th, 1941. A 19-year-old Roland was about to get his morning started. We were getting ready to go to church on Ford Island. I was standing on the deck waiting for the motor launch to come pick us up. Then, disaster. <laughs> we just saw the Arizona blur up. It was right in front of us. We could just smell the smoke and the, the, and the explosions. Right there. I was on that ship. You were here, yeah. and you saw the Arizona here. And we had all these destroyers tied next to us, which would have been a good target. In fact, we took, had torpedoes, and if we were hit, we would have got blown up. We were just fearful for the ship would be gone. Luckily, the Whitney wasn't targeted. They were after the fighting ships. I just feel lucky that they, they didn't hit us. During the attack, Roland and his men took cover. We were just ordered to go below deck. And then help those still alive. We were assigned uh, to survive, the, take care of the survivors. Roland was later released from the Navy in 1946. Nearly 20 American naval vessels damaged, including eight battleships and over 300 airplanes during the attack, and Roland was one of the lucky ones to make it out unharmed. We just couldn't believe it.